approach you'd want to take. Okay. You're like snorkeling, diving around. There's open openings, trying not to slip. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay.
was kind of a drop off right here. What'd you think of that kick out? It wasn't bad. Right? But There's a lot to see. All the stuff. Yeah. Um, on the way back, I didn't see any out heading out. I must have missed them all. Or didn't get the same path, but there's all these uh, huge red lilies. Really? Yeah, yeah. Those are really cool to see down there. Yeah. Down there. So we'll go ahead, we'll descend down. Um, I'm going to hand the flag off to you. Okay. So, like I said, just as you're descending, kind of keep it held kind of straight. And yeah. Just be let go of the line as you're heading down. Okay. Drop, get a couple feet off the bottom, okay. and then we'll go ahead this way, which, so what I like to do is I pull my compass out, and I like to just kind of get a, a bearing of where, you know, what general direction we're taking. So, uh, as we're following the slope, we're going to go more or less northwest, closer to north. Okay. So when we're heading back, we'll be looking to go southeast. So we're headed this way? Yep. Okay. And we're just going to follow the, the curve of the... The drop off. Okay. Much further out, it was just dark and black and nothing. Sure. So.
huge. Right. Holy crap, there's some big bass in here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're... I thought we were a little further, so... At least, yeah, we'll go forward a little bit. Wrap around. What are you doing on air? 17.50. Okay. So have plenty of time to get over there. About half the air there. We'll go ahead and come back. Which way are you headed? We're going to keep going for the, the lilies. Okay. Be about just kind of skirting the lilies a little bit. Okay. It's probably going to be really super shallow. I mean, we've only been in like, looks like the deepest we it was 16, and that was like right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, there's no reason to go deep. They're all right here. Yeah. How many, how many schools of fish have we been just in the middle of? Right? Of a good like 50 plus. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure, and I hope I got it on video, I'm pretty sure I saw a crappie. I did, yeah. Did you? Yep. And like yeah, right. Was, big school. Yep. Yep. I saw a couple hanging out in those, uh, real tall, like, I don't know what kind of, they also like kelp. Those like freshwater kelp. Yeah. They like to hang out in those. That's where we fish them usually. Okay. But usually they're deeper than that. They're yeah, like that real cold water. I, I almost feel like this must be spring fed. I'm not sure. It doesn't feel cold enough, but we've only, again, we've only been 20 feet. Well, that's what I'm saying. It yeah. seems like it gets a lot colder than it yeah. normally would in a lake like this. Yep. You, you think 40 foot, this should be super warm. Yeah. Um, and when we first got out there, there was something that caused the big disturbance. Not, yeah. not where we just initially, I think that was just us. Um, but it was all soapy we right there. Out, it, you could, did you see that trail? Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping we'd see something, but it was probably a long gone. But yeah, that mass is huge. So yeah, we'll go ahead and kick uh, a little further uh, here to the northwest. That's what we're looking at. That's once we, once we hit the lilies, I want to skirt around for a little while, see what we see, and then we'll head back.